book on Pokédex family. So it's showing some pictures on when I went to visit Frank and Sons collectible show back in March 20, 2021. Uh, back then the capacity of the building was only 50%. So we had this line wrapped around the building and then some. As we're walking towards the front door, we're getting closer to our entrance. You can see some photos there. Um, then we're inside the building. And then this past weekend, March, uh, July 17, 2021, I did visit again. This is a new building. Um, previously, it was in the other building. Having been to Frank and Sons Collectible Show before this year was 2014 and many times back then I visit uh, Frank and Sons from 2010 2014 um, and then before that it was back in 2001 back when I was collecting Pokemon cards back then and I was collecting figures uh, Star Wars figures and Beanie Babies uh, this is a display you know who that is right uh, this is displays that uh, I guess the owner of the collectible show his own personal collection. Uh, don't quote me on that, I'm not sure. So this is some of his stuff, I believe. And there's a De Deadpool display case there. Some Funko Pops, action figures. Uh, this place is really incredible. If you're a true collector on toys and cards, you gotta come here. Toys R Us sign back, you know, when they close all the Toys R Us stores in the United States. I guess the owner bought those. So I like that, it's pretty cool. Then we got some vintage uh, lunch boxes. Uh, the Star Wars, I do have that one when I was a kid, I still have it. Some Star Wars stuff, the sealed product, we got some of those, those statues and so forth. And those are like life-size ones. And then more display cases. And then here's the actual uh, show. A bunch of vendors, a bunch of booths. Uh, this is permanent um, booths are here. Uh, it's every Wednesdays, Saturdays, and Sundays. So I'm just walking around random aisles here and there, kind of give me a kind of give you a small overview of all the stuff that they have. Looks like those are custom made Lego figures. And then we got some Funko Pops. This vendor had a big massive collection of Funko Pops. And this is just, this is just the outside of the store. I didn't go inside. There was a lot of people inside there. So I don't want to get in their way because they're out there shopping. But you can see he had a massive collection there. And uh, he put the prices on those sticky notes. A little glimpse inside the store. You can see a lot there. Funko Pops. And then here I put the camera in kind of like stealth mode. Because I noticed when I was walking around with the camera in my hand at chest height, people were looking at it. So kind of put in stealth mode um, just give me our, a view of those um, funny cars and then there's a vendor for Pokemon and um, magic and then this vendor over here I bought back in March I bought a booster box a battle styles booster box for 120 and now I can see them here currently they're at 90 85, 90, 95 for a booster box. So I recommend that you hold off on booster boxes when they release. Wait a couple of months to drop down in price. And then here's another vendor next door to that first other one. This guy had a bunch of plushes. Pokemon plushes, some Pokeballs. Um, and a luggage there. Pokemon and then these light up these are pretty cool I'm thinking of getting one next time when I go out there in August I'm gonna go out there again in August to pick up some uh, revolving skies so some of these Pokeballs he had a sign there I believe it was three for 90 bucks or $45 each 
So it's a better deal if you buy three. And then the same vendor. So you had some chilling range for 35 ETVs. And then you can see some battle styles for 30 bucks. And the Venusaur and the Bubble Sore were too pricey. I want to hold off on that. I haven't seen it at retail yet. And then here's a different vendor at Comic Books. Massive collection of comic books. And you can see in the boxes down there, you had them marked at 50 cents each. And then these are probably higher price ones 30 bucks, 40 bucks, 50 bucks. And then this vendor was awesome. This one had massive quantities of action figures. I mean, if you're looking for something, I would recommend it come to this guy. This is just on the outside of his store. Uh, display cases. I believe he had, I want to say, eight display cases just on the outside. In a moment, you'll see me go inside and I'll show you on those. But this is still on the outside. A lot of action figures. You can see Nightmare on Elm Street, Aliens, Freddy Krueger, Kiss, Nightmare Before Christmas, and some Mario Brothers and Pokemon. Not really, he was working, didn't really have any uh, Pokemon cards, just a little bit, but mostly it was action figures, little toys, some plushes, and you can see above too, display cases, had <laughs> shelves of sealed product, still on the outside, and then here's on the inside of that same vendor, loose product and baggies. Wrestlers. Yeah, this guy had a bunch of stuff. And they're very friendly too. They were asking me a couple of times if I needed any help to let them know. My Little Pony. More wrestlers. It's crazy, he had so much. You can spend just hours on just on this vendor of all the display of toys he has. Again above still products, some Star Wars, Halo, Ghostbusters, look at that. Check that out, all that stuff he had. Ghostbusters again, the car there, and then I think I move over and you get some, get to see some uh, more random stuff from Popeye ET. Some Disney Smurfs. Yeah, I mean, wow, you can spend hours just on this vendor. You look at everything he had. And then there's another display case he had, Simpsons, you can see that. So I was trying to pan through kind of quickly because I don't want to uh, prevent shoppers from buying from this vendor because, you know, you don't want to get in their way. They're trying to look at stuff too and buy stuff. And then I like that Homer there, the, the double Homer. That's pretty cool. And some Star Wars again, some steel product above, some loose um, spaceships. that Pirates of Caribbean, more Star Wars, and the spaceships and bags. They almost used every square inch of the, this um, area to have toys, some Hulk. They looks like DC action figures. Marvel's part of the next display case, the Bravita Robot, 
Two Face. Always been Two Face. And then some more ships. It was just hanging above. Also, I was panning up too because people were trying to pass by me, so I was panning up so I won't get them in the view. That Austin Powers. And then, um, some more Simpsons. There's Pikachu. <laughs> and Eevee and Mario. product above and then this product in the display cases more action figures look at it. you just had a lot of stuff you had to go through this you can spend a couple of hours on this just on this one vendor and there's a lot of vendors there like I said this is this happens every Wednesdays on Saturdays and now Sundays they added on Sundays back in the day it was only on Wednesdays and Saturdays we used to go in the 2000 2001 and then we got some miscellaneous some Disney stuff miscellaneous stuff Scooby Doo G.I. Joe, you guys like G.I. Joe, there was a lot that I didn't show on this because there was people in there shopping too so I didn't want to get in their way so I kind of bypassed them, so there's a lot more and then there's another display case on the other side of that booth, there's some backpacks there, and some Star Wars, Legos, More Legos, look at that. Oh, if you're looking for Lego people, gotta come here. It's a lot. And then some Star Wars Legos. And then uh, the Death Star for 250. I didn't ask how much of these figures. So I don't know what they were. And then more Star Wars. Seal product above and then the loose product in the display case. And some seal product too in the back. And I did have some vintage stuff growing up in Star Wars. Vintage stuff. Of course I don't have it now, but I do have modern. Um, back in the day when I was collecting them in 2000 up to about 2004 you can see all the loose figures I should have zoomed on the prices kind of give you a price an idea what prices are on this remember this is all vintage most of those vintage Another display case of more Star Wars. And 650 for that Ghostbusters. What is that? A trap? Vintage Star Wars. Some seal and loose. That's pretty cool. And then another display case of all Godzilla and then Giant Robot. If you guys remember Giant, Giant Robot, I used to watch that series when I was a kid growing up. Johnny Suckle. <laughs> what was this phrase? Giant Robot Attack. <laughs> Godzilla and King Ghidorah. King Kong. Godzilla and I believe I see a um, Mecha K 
King Ghidorah. I like that. And then there was a Pokemon vendor here. You can see it's some ETBs. And then he has some vintage um, booster boxes. I didn't check on the prices on those. And some packs as well. And then there's a different vendor. These, these guys already left for the day. But you can see what they had for sale. Bunch of ETBs, bunch of Pokemon, bunch of collection boxes as well. And then that vendor with the vintage booster box, that's him right here. I kind of panned through because I wanted to show you the big, I believe it was a Squirtle plushie. Let's see that pan over. There you go. I like that Squirtle, it's huge. And then a different vendor across the way. With more Pokemon, you can see some magic. And on this guy's, I guess they're having deals because a lot of people are up there uh, lined up to buy. You can see that. And then across the way. So I walk over there. And then these guys were doing deals too. A lot of customers they had lined up. I mean, this place is awesome to come to. You find your stuff that you're looking for. So the ETBs they had, collection boxes. Look at that. Wow. That's amazing. Too bad you can't find that in retail stores. But some of the stuff you can get on the deals, you know, they're they're below retail, like those ETBs, Julian Rain and uh Battle styles and booster boxes went for 90. Baby voltage I saw for 120. Some of these vendors. Let's see $30 uh, battle styles. And then here's some just random pictures. Some other vendors. I was walking as I was walking through. The Chilling Rain 3 pack. You can buy two for 25. There's some loose cards. And some Funko Pops. This place to come for Funko Pops. And then I believe the next shot will be me just panning the the show before I left for the day. Kind of quick pan through. Um, I'm gonna come out in August again, looking for Revolving Skies if they had. Um, hope you liked the video. Give me a thumbs up and. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, please. If you build it, they will come. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye.